right over yonder, I feel like there's a source of water. As I was eating shrimp on my counter, I pondered about my next Airbnb. In Southern Nevada, there's a wagon from the 1800s. So immediately I hopped on a plane and headed to the desert oasis, also known as Las Vegas. A short two hour flight, which was enough time to watch 40 year old Virgin and say hello to Crush from Finding Nemo. It's always fun going from cold snow mountains to red rock sand. But finally we landed, got the rental car and started our journey. All right, we are on our way to the wagon from the 1800s, but first, we're gonna stop and get some food. Now the food here is amazing, so we have to switch it up and try the Winco Deli. And we're off. To the gas station, which has 99 pumps and of course, slot machines. And the mother of all cactuses. My main goal on this trip is to live how the pioneers did in the 1800s. Being that I can't move the wagon, I will instead do the 100,000 step challenge and try to complete the three hardest struggles the pioneers faced. Scarce water, scarce food, and extreme fatigue. So this is how it ends. I will be on the hunt for my own food, my own water, and with walking nearly 50 miles, I'm sure I'll face some fatigue, but most likely not because I'm just built different. For those of you who don't know, Nevada is home to one of the largest hydroelectric installations in the country. Country, serving more than 1.3 million people in Nevada, Arizona, and California. So we're at the Hoover Dam right now. We're heading back. I wasn't able to fly the drone. Uh, the security guard said it was federal property. Now it's time to go to that wagon. Dirt roads, horses, desert cattails, but most importantly, oh, there it is. <laughs> you guys see it through the trees there? This is just so gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen clouds like this. The wagon was in amazing condition. I was surprised with the attention to detail and even the steel wrapped wheels. There was a screen door right next to the bed which actually made it pretty cold at night. They had a cute fireplace, outdoor seating, shower, and an outdoor kitchen. Now it's time to check out the inside. Look at this. Definitely one of the cuter Airbnbs I've been in. The interior was very small, but it is a wagon. There wasn't much for lighting and they didn't even have a microwave. I ended up melting my sushi dish. I loved the decor and of course my Airbnb buddy, Frankie the Horse. They did have a ductless heater, which literally saved my life at night. We're gonna start a new segment. It's called Strange on the Range. Now it's no secret that with traveling the world for these strange and weird and crazy Airbnbs, it's an excursion. It's a trek. It's a range. That might not make sense to you, but for lack of better words, strange and range rhyme. So the segment's called Strange on the Range. And for this episode's strange item, I have the world's smallest Game Boy. So here we go. We're going to take it for a spin. We're going to hit start. Oops. Apparently we're taking, oh, we're playing a game. This is where we jump over. Boom. Okay, I died. Let's do tennis. Oh, wait, what's happened? Wait, what? It's time for this trek, 100,000 steps. We're gonna experience fatigue, we're going with no water, and we're gonna be looking out for plants. Right off the bat, I started looking for plants. Okay, so far the only plants we've seen is sagebrush, tumbleweeds, and then this weird looking tree that I, I couldn't tell you what it is. I should have fueled up before I left, but I'm not a cheater. I got this. I then found some maybe food, some cow poop, and the one and only. So on our 100,000 step excursion, we just found a Moscow mule. The sand was so fine, but there was so much walking. And walking, and walking, and even more walking. But then I decided to mix it up and run. But then I started walking again. Until I ran into a barbed wire fence. It's come to my attention. 100,000 steps is actually like 50 miles. We just don't have time for that. So we headed back to the wagon, ate the most disgusting fried rice. Sorry, Winco. I'm so sad that Dio's not here. It's our first flight. I didn't click the button. Dio doesn't have his vaccinations and everything like that. It's gonna be sad watching a movie without Dio, but uh... It's time for bed. It got down to 36 degrees last night. So first things first, coffee. Then I made some breakfast, ate the breakfast and explored the ranch. They actually have a teepee, a hot tent, a tiny home. I'm not sure what that is. But comment if you think a teepee would be weird enough. Now, before I rate this Airbnb, I wanted to share my experience in Las Vegas itself, but I just read YouTube's community guidelines. The clips wouldn't fly. Just kidding. Vegas is just a whole bunch of this. 
So hopefully you can hear me, I got the heater going, but I just kind of wanted to do a quick review over this entire stay. To start off the whole trip, it was a disaster. Uh, I was with Spirit Airlines and the flight got canceled. Customer service was not nice at all. I ended up going to Frontier and there was a delay, there was a one hour delay, but we ended up getting here. We did our trek, which was, I don't know how Oregon Settlers, I, I always think of Oregon Settlers because I played the game Oregon, Oregon Settlers, but man, I don't know how they did it. The fatigue, finding water, especially medicine. I remember like, especially like, maybe, maybe I just remember it because the game, there were a lot of hardships. I mean, medicine was hard to come by. I ended up buying a book. I thought it would be more pictures. I'm more of a picture book reader. It did not have any pictures. It was all words, so, you know, I didn't even read. The overall wagon is, is immaculate. It's in amazing condition. One thing I don't like, they didn't have a microwave. They only had a toaster, and of course, the stuff in the deli comes in this plastic stuff, so we ended up, like, melting the plastic. I tried just heating my sushi up just a little bit because I like it, like, you know, just a little warm. It, it was, like, frozen, so I wanted to heat it up a little bit, and the plastic started melting, so I just had cold sushi don't forget to comment down below weird airbnb to be pinned in the next video send me a weird item for stranger on the range and we'll see you guys next time this is gabe in his natural habitat i found some cow tests just sitting on the ground we also found another bean but it looks like it's been eaten this tells us it's edible